can't be frustrated or trying to get the perfect computer. So what is the right computer for Close 3D and Adobe Creative Cloud with having a limited budget? This is not a product review. In this video, I'm going to share with you the MacBook Pro versus gaming laptop and a desktop computer that I use for my design. Before we go any further, I want to point out some core requirement the computer must have. So at least has 16 gig of RAM, that's number one. Number two, the computer must have Intel i Core 7. And number three, the computer must have 64 bit, that for a PC person. And then number four, the computer must have the storage at least 500 gig. However, you don't have to worry about that though because I have the links below for you to look at the specs right here. And I will share with you some pro and con about MacBook Pro versus gaming laptop and the desktop. MacBook Pro. If you're thinking about traveling or go back to school, I recommend getting a MacBook Pro. I have to be honest with you. I was a PC person and I switched to MacBook because many university and community college in the United States now required students to know Mac OS. Of course, it is easier and lighter to pack. However, though, it can get hot sometimes if you're working on the program. And I recommend work on a program. Let's say, for example, you work on clothes, turn off, you know, Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. You can, you know, let's say I'm working on clothes and doing textile. Sometimes I need to edit really quick. I can just turn on Photoshop and then edit quickly and then turn it off and just leave Clo running. Compared to a gaming laptop, it is a little bit bulkier if you want to pack and travel to places. However though, it doesn't really get as hot compared to a MacBook Pro. And I also use that for Close 3D as well as for Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Premiere Pro for my design process. And finally, my most favorite computer, of course, you can only work it at home. It's Dell desktop. I have the computer links below and I hope this computer link help you or help guide you to find the right computer with limited budget and save you time and headache. Okay, so let's get into my favorite desktop. The price itself is roughly a little bit cheaper compared to a MacBook. And I can get these two big giant monitor hooked onto that desktop and give me this amazing screen view. And I can run multiple programs in the background such as Clo, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Adobe Illustrator. It's really get hot. So once again, the con about it though, you can only leave it in your office. You can't really pack up and go places compared to a MacBook Pro and a gaming laptop. So in conclusion, Design Lisa, I have the links below about either MacBook Pro, gaming laptop, and the desktop. I hope you guys find this video helpful and remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.